Yo, hello? It's Povika Sana Revy here, and today I will show you how to data mosh. If you want to strengthen your editing skills, then make sure to check out Revy's editing visuals website and watch other tutorials on the channel. Also, if you want to support me, my channel will be linked in the description. Let's begin. First, you will want to export your clips. You can have them synced or not, it doesn't really matter. I have a couple of these clips synced, for example, this one I don't. You can also have your color correction placed, or you cannot, you can do it later. I only did deep glow 0.15, you can press add to render queue. You can render in any software that you have. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna render in QuickTime. I think I'm gonna call it just Datamosh. As you can see, I've already rendered it. If you rendered in After Effects, you will actually have to re-render it in some other place because After Effects makes your file size like a couple of gigabytes. I usually like to render in Premiere Pro. And once you have re-rendered, your clips now need to download Avidamux. You cannot download the latest versions because basically data moshing is made by using just very outdated editing softwares. I personally downloaded one of these. I forgot which one exactly. Once you've downloaded Avidamux, just go to Avidamux. Once you're in Avidamux, you have to open up your clip that you rendered. You should probably have it MP4, by the way. If this pops up, just press no. If anything pops up, press no. Now you need to go here and press video MPEG for ASP Exit. Go to configure and go here and this is the most important part you have to set this to 99999 if B frames annoy you and you actually understand what they are you can set this to zero but I'm gonna just keep it like it is and if you want to save these settings just go here in audio you can change it to AAC FAC I don't really want the audio so it's fine you need to save the video after you've done that I think I'm gonna save it to data mosh frames or something I don't, I don't know Okay, once you've done that, you have to go here, press close, or maybe you don't actually have to do that, I don't know, and press open. Now open the file that you just rendered in Avidamux. I did data mosh frames. And to move around this place, you use your arrow keys. Do not ever delete your first iframe. And very important as well is to go to video and press on copy. Since I can't really explain what P frame data moshing is, I'll just have P frame data moshes on top of the screen for you guys to see what P frame data moshing looks like. And this is what Y frame data moshing looks like looks like. Okay, so now let's do P-frame data mosh. So as you can see, here are frame types. So if you want to P-frame data mosh, you just have to find P-frame that you actually like. Now you have to press on this and then press on this. Once you have locked it, basically, you just isolated a frame. Now you just have to press Control c on it and go to your, like, you see, go to your next frame, which is frame type B, or you can be frame type P as well, but just a different frame, and press Control v to copy and paste it. We just pasted the same frame. Now just go forward again and paste it again. Do this for around 20 times. You can do it even more. It will look better. If you have 60 frames per second, then you will actually need to do this quite a lot. But do it slowly. Don't paste once every second. Wait like two seconds because Avidamux will actually crash if you go too fast. So yeah, do it for around 20 times now. Once you've done that, you can go to another spot that you want to P-frame data mark. So for example, this transition. Just do the same thing. So here we, we are on the right frame. Press A, move with arrow key once to forward and press on this B. Control C and now Control V and now just keep pressing Control V but slowly do it kind of slowly do it every three seconds so it doesn't crash and do it around 20 times or even more it depends on your frame rate here I found another cool frame to P frame data mosh so I'm gonna press A go one frame to the right with arrow keys press on this B one do not press A and B on your keyboard but press these ones instead now Control C and Control V just keep pasting it for like 20 times or more and it will P frame data mosh it if you do it even for longer it will look actually cooler once you are done p frame data mosh i'm going to teach you how to iframe data mosh you can use up and down arrow keys to find your nearest iframe sometimes iframing for some reason just doesn't work i tried to iframe this frame so many times and it just didn't work it looked very weird it just had a couple of pixels and that's it but i found out that on some it works for example this one this one it works and remember to not ever delete your first iframe never so once you found the iframe that you want to iframe data marsh you should probably do it on a transition like right here you need to lock it press a here and press b here and instead of copying and pasting it like we did with p frames we're just going to press delete and that's how you actually just iframe data mosh. It's pretty easy, but it doesn't work for me usually. Maybe it will work for you a lot. I don't know. Go to render this. So let's go file, save, 
save video. Just call it whatever, I don't really care. Just I'm just gonna press F. Remember to put dot AVI at the end of the name and press save. When it says you may need smart copy, enable it, just press no. Okay, we have data mushed. Now you have to go back to your software. Once we're back to After Effects or your editing software, we can now import our data mush. So f.avi, that's how I saved it. Okay, and just put it on top. And now we can watch how it looks. Turn off the audio because it will be kind of bugged. I'm gonna turn off the music here as well. Alright, so this is how the result looks like for now. That actually looks wonderful. The only thing you have to do right now is just sync it. To sync it, I don't recommend actually syncing the data mosh part, but just cut it. Cut it like this. Only sync these parts to make it go faster with the song. And that's about it. You can scale these up if you want. All right, I finally finished the syncing with the music. All I did was keep this part completely untouched. And then I just cut the first part of the clip and I kind of synced it like this if anyone cares. You can sync however you want, you can even sync it while it's data mosh. It might look okay, I don't really know. This is the final product. I tried to make this video as helpful as I could, so I really hope that you have learned something today. Data moshing is actually really easy, but you do need like 10 minutes of practice. If you don't like your data mosh results, then try to adjust the color correction of your clips, and then redo the data mosh. Also, Revy has some insane color corrections on his website, so those could help as well. And if you're interested in them, then make sure to check out his editing visuals website. Don't ever give up on data mosh, because for a lot of the times, it just didn't work for me for some reason. Iframe data mosh doesn't work for me like 80 percent of the time just switch the clip maybe add different colors maybe make it glow a little bit more after i made this drake clip glow a little more it actually worked but beforehand it didn't work at all b-frame data moshing usually works just fine you can also change the settings in avidamux after data moshing you can add other effects on here you can scale it up you should probably also sync it so it looks better and that's about it all right have a fun and productive day see ya